Hi, I'm Gary Boitler from the Water Stores Group and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about salt clogging in water softeners. Um, over recent years it's become a little bit more common that uh, the brine tank and water softeners become clogged with salt. And why that occurs is because water softeners are far more efficient now than they used to be. They use a lot less salt. So because of that, the salt doesn't turn over as often. And uh, quite often it happens that um, if the salt doesn't turn over often enough, or, or might just simply be because the salt tank is just kept too full, that um, we end up with a salt clog. So how do you know if you have a salt clog? Well, the most common symptom is that the water softener stops using salt. Um, it just isn't absorbed, the water, the brine just isn't being made and um, so because of that it's just not using up the salt. The other way that people notice is their water is hard. All of a sudden they're getting staining, they're getting um, hard water problems um, because the water softener just isn't softening their water anymore. So how do you check this out? Well the simplest way to check it out is by grabbing a stick like a broomstick or something like that and then trying to push that stick through the uh, brine well, through the salt. And uh, if you can push it all the way down to the bottom, then you don't have a, a salt clog. But if you can't, if it only goes down part way, then you probably have a salt clog. So cleaning that out to remove that salt clog is not a difficult process if you use water to do it. And that's what I'm going to describe right now. So the first step in doing this is put your water softener on bypass. That's a good safety feature. Uh, the next step is to remove any loose salt that's at the top of here. So use a garden trowel or um, some kind of a little scoop and scoop out as much of that salt as you can into a bucket. The next step is to grab your broom handle or your stick and try to loosen up as much of that salt. Poke around that salt and break up as much of that as you can. And uh, again, uh, whatever you've broken up, scoop out of uh, the brine tank and put into a bucket to remove it. Then by this point you should see some water in the bottom of, of the um, brine tank. So that water needs to be removed because it's actually brine right now. It's absorbed as much salt as it, as it possibly can. So remove that. A shop vac works great or you can scoop it up with some cups or something like that. Then what you need to do is again grab your bucket, put in about two or three gallons of hot tap water, dump that on top of the salt. Also um, the brine well, which is this part here, remove the cap from the top and put about a half gallon of hot water inside there too. And that will start absorbing the salt, start to remove it. Now what you need to do is let that sit for about four hours. That's the time it takes for the water to absorb as much of the salt as it's going to absorb. After that, put your water softener back into service, take it out of bypass in other words, and uh, regenerate your water softener. Um, a water softener like this, uh, you just hold down the regeneration button for five seconds or more and away it goes, it'll regenerate. So it'll suck up that uh, brine, that water that's in here, will suck that up and uh, as it's going through the regeneration process and it'll refill it with some new water, okay? That new water will again make brine by absorbing the salt and it'll work, work at removing that salt clog in there. The next day, grab your stick and poke around there some more, loosen up some more of that salt and uh, again press the regeneration button, let it go through the process. You may need to do that two or three days in a row to get rid of that salt, salt clog. Now don't put any more salt into this tank until you've used up all of that salt from that salt clog. Once you've done that, refill the salt tank or the brine tank about two-thirds full with salt but don't refill it again until it's down to about the quarter full level. As long as you keep doing, the, doing that, you'll probably never have the salt clog problem ever again. And that's the process. If you like what you saw today, please check out our website at waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary Boitler for the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.